Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to be filming a holiday tutorial. So um, Christmas is in just over a month, so I know it's still far away, but you know you can never be too prepared, so um, that's why I decided to film this um, look for you today. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, but I'm wearing false lashes and these are amazing. Uh, I'm so impressed with them. And I used a few other new makeup products too. So if you would like to see what makeup products I use to achieve this look, just keep watching. So the first thing I will be doing is um, priming my face just to even the redness out. So here I have a Instant Energizing Corrector and this is by the brand Sotis. So this is um, actually an EE cream um, and what I really like about it is it's um, actually a universal shade. So it kind of has a, a lilac pigment to it um, and you're going to see it's just going to blur any imperfections out and it's going to be a nice canvas for my foundation. It feels really hydrating. It's almost like a cream. You know how primers sometimes can feel a little thick? But this one feels really nice and smooth. Moving on to my base, uh, I will be using a BB cream. So there's kind of a theme going on here. Um, so um, this is the Leo Ellie Triple Dissolution BB cream. And I've had this for years and I'm almost finished which I'm kind of sad about, but kind of happy about too. Um, so I'm definitely considering repurchasing this. What I like so much about it is that it really gives a beautiful glow to the skin and it still looks very natural, so it doesn't look caked on or anything like that. And to apply it, I'm going to be using the Lux Foundation Brush and this is by Glow Minerals. So as you can see, it's uh, really soft yet very dense. So when I do my base, um, I like doing it in sections. So I usually start with the area that needs the most coverage and for me that would be um, my cheeks since I have most um, scarring and redness in those areas. So then I just bring it down to my chin and down my neck and then I like covering my nose next and around my nose, I have a lot of like redness too. I think it's, I don't know, apparently it's hormonal. And I also have like broken veins, which kind of look purple. So um, I really want to cover those up really well. So I spend a bit more time here. So I'm just going to need one more um, pump, not even a full pump. This was maybe a third of a pump. Um, and my forehead is usually pretty clear, but just to even the color um, that I have going on on the rest of my face, I just apply a thin layer of um, BB cream as well. So as you can see, this has a very dewy finish, um, but if you're going out and you want your makeup to last, um, I would recommend using a pressed powder, and, and this has been my go-to for the last year or so, and it's the Makeup Forever HD Pressed Powder. Um, as you can see, I'm almost done, which makes me sad, but that's okay. I have um, another product I'm really excited to try after this one, so... And usually for powder, I just focus it on my T-zone, because that's the area that tends to get more oily throughout the day or night. For blush, I'm going to use this beautiful trio, and this is the Sotis illuminating trio for face and eyes. As you can see, it has um, a darker rosy blush, more of a Barbie pink, and a very um, light pink, almost like a bronze at the end. Um, so I'm just gonna swirl my blush brush into this. I'm just using the Real Techniques um, multitask brush for um, application. So as you can see, it gives a really nice tint to the cheeks. So to make it blend a bit 
better into the skin, I'm just going to go back with my powder brush um, and blend it out. Since I'm going for a really glam look, of course I can't skip on the highlighter. Um, so I'm going to be using this Pro Sculpting Duo from Makeup Forever. And to apply it, I'm just going to use a Makeup Forever brush as well. And this is the 156 Wavy. So I'm just going to lightly dab. And what I really like about this brush is that it's very um, fluffy, yet it doesn't pick up too much product. So you want to make sure you never go overboard with highlighter because that does not look very cute. <laughs> I like putting it just above my cheekbones. I always like going a bit over my eyes as well and on my nose and cupid's bow with what's left over on the brush. I'm just gonna go very lightly in with the contour shade in this duo. Um, I'm trying not to put too much on because I really want the focus to be on the highlighter and glowing skin. So just a bit on the top of my forehead and on my cheeks. Moving on to the brows, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail brow pencil and this one is from Wet n Wild and it's in the shade Taupe. And I actually think this got discontinued, so I'm really sad, but I still have a backup after this one, so it should still last me for a little while. So first I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows, because they have a mind of their own. So I just gotta tame them down a bit before. Now I just fill them in, and I focus most of the product on the inner corner, and on the... Um, outer tail because that's where um, my hair is the most sparse so just that makes a big difference um, my eyebrows stand out a bit more and there's a bit of a stronger tint to them so um, yeah but this shade matches me pretty well so um, I also like it because it goes on super smooth My eyebrows never look identical. I have this one which is um, much lower than that one, but that's okay because um, our brows are sisters, not twins. Before starting um, applying eyeshadow, I'm just going to curl my lashes because that is an essential step in my routine. And my tip for getting the most curl out of them is to begin at the base and pump the lash curler and then I move on to the outer edge and pump some more so that you really get um, a curl from the base to the end. And also you can lift the curler right before you're done so you get even more lift out of your um, curler. I'm going to be using this Hydra Color Quad multi-effect eyeshadows in black star so it says here that you can use it dry or wet so I'll start by using it dry to see um, how well they apply and I'm gonna start using this like shimmery midnight blue which is beautiful for um, a special occasion so this is really pigmented I don't know if you can see it comes off on the brush uh, very nicely Okay, wow, this is really pigmented. Wow, it goes on really smoothly too. I'm like barely pressing the brush into my eyelid. Wow, I'm super impressed. And so far, there is no fallout despite it being really shimmery, so that's always a good sign. So if you apply this wet, I'm sure the pigmentation would be even more um, insane, but for today, I'm really happy with how this is looking on its own, so I'm just going to stick to using it as is. So now I'm just going to blend that into my crease.
to smoke my eyes out even more, I'm going to be using this super intense black shade right here. And this one is matte, so it's going to really um, balance out the shimmer. Um, so I'm just going to be using this angled um, eye brush and just lightly dabbing it into the shadow because if it's as pigmented as the blue one, you don't want to be using too much. This one's actually not that pigmented, so I'm just dabbing my brush in to get a bit more product. And I usually start at the end and lightly make my way to the inner corner of the eye so that I can focus most of the product on the outer part. Then once again, I'm just going to um, blend this out. Now on the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to be using this shimmery champagne color just to um, brighten up my eyes a bit more. So this one is really pigmenting. I can tell right away just by how the brush picks it up. So I'm just gonna go really lightly because I think I put a bit too much. Oh yeah, this is super, super pigmented. But I like it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend that with my fingers. And Ooh, I really like how this is turning out. As a brow highlight, I'm going to be using this matte beige on top. So this just lifts the brows a bit more and um, keeps the focus on the other eyeshadows. So I will be applying false lashes today, so I'm just going to be using a black liner to line my upper lash line. And again, I will be using um, one from Chouviance, and this is in the color Black Diamond. It comes with a sponge smudger on one end, and you get the product on the other one. And I already swatched this on my hand and it's really creamy so we'll see how this applies. Whoa, okay that is crazy creamy. Like I'm barely even dragging it across. So smooth. I think I'll be skipping on a winged line today just because the lashes are going to be so intense. I still don't consider myself an eyeliner pro, but I've definitely come a long way. So, um, yeah, always learning here. <laughs> Speaking of something I'm not very pro at, is false lashes. So this is probably like the third or fourth time I ever apply false lashes in my life, so this will be interesting to watch. <laughs> um, so I received these Makeup Forever Lash Show Creative Impact Instant Drama False Lashes, and as you can see, they are very dramatic. Um, these are the um, lashes from the Creative line, and this one is C-705, so they are very intense. <laughs> From the look of them, I can tell they're probably going to be too long, so I'm going to have to trim them a bit. What I really like is that they come with a latex-free lash glue, so you don't have to worry about getting that separately. Okay, let's just take a moment to admire how stunning these are. Um, they're kind of like, whoo, these are kind of like clustered into um, little V's that go right across and the outer um, lashes are longer so that you get more of that fluttery effect. From what I remember, the best way to remove lashes is to gently tug on the middle part. And then make your way to the sides. Almost there. Just gotta make sure. Okay, so if this was like that, this one goes on the right eye. 
So I'm just going to place it on my lashes just to get an idea. So I think these might actually be the right length. So let's see, I'll try applying this with the um, glue that's included. I'm just applying a thin layer across um, and I'm going to wait a few seconds until the glue becomes tacky. Um, so yeah, I'm just focusing a bit more glue on the outer edges. This glue is white but it should um, dry clear. Since I want a bit more control when I apply these, I'm going to be using my tweezers. And I'm just going to grab the middle part here and start gently pressing these on. Wow, these are very dramatic, but they actually feel very light, which I really like because um, the first ever lashes I tried felt quite heavy on the, the eyes. I actually realized now that I forgot to apply mascara, but I'm actually glad I didn't because you really don't need it with this pair of lashes. It just covers your natural lashes and they don't even show. <laughs> so same thing with the other lash. I'm just going to start by gently pulling on the center and then on either side. So this is just so that you don't um, pull the lashes too much so that they don't um, lose their shape. From what I remember um, from my first eyelash glue, it smelled really intense so I'm guessing this one it doesn't because it's latex free so I really really like that about it and if you didn't know most eyelashes if they're good quality can be reused multiple times um, if you take good care of them they should last you maybe five to ten uses um, and these ones are um, synthetic which obviously is really nice. <laughs> I'm going to be going with a bright red lip because obviously um, for the holidays um, everyone goes out with red lips, right? <laughs> I'm going to be using a lip liner first and this is the Cole Kajal lip liner um, in the shade red by Jordana and I'm just going to line the outer edge of my lips. So for the final touch, I'm going to be using a Juviance lipstick and this is in the shade 12 Opera Assigné um, and I really like this packaging because it's magnetic so it just is so satisfying to listen to. <laughs> now wait for the actual color. BAM! Yes, it's a really bright red. I love it. <laughs> it's actually not as opaque as some other red lipsticks I own, but I still think it's really pretty. If it's your first time experimenting with red lips, um, I think this would be a really good option. So that completes my holiday glam makeup look. I don't know if you noticed, but I have little sparkly red heart earrings. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so that they match my lips as well. And um, so here you have the finished look. It's very, very glamorous, but I think for special occasions or for the holidays, this is um, something that's really and nice to try and to play with 
um, different products that you wouldn't normally reach for. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned some new tips, tricks, um, and that you found maybe interest in any of these products. Um, as usual, I will have a blog post on these products and with more pictures on the look that I created today. Um, so I will make sure to link that in the description box below. Don't forget to uh, follow, subscribe to me on my channel here. So just click that big subscribe button. You can also catch me on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Plus. So those will all be linked below as well. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.